Hi everybody, this is Oriana Shea and this is You Gotta Eat. I am actually a real estate professional in Long Beach, California by trade. This is just what I do for fun and started doing this cooking show to share my recipes with all my friends out there. So, what is You Gotta Eat? We take shortcuts. We work for a living. We want to make delicious meals for our family, but maybe we don't want to go the full nine yards to get to the end result. So I'm gonna give you some shortcuts. So Bobby Flay, look away. On today's episode, we're gonna be making chicken pot pie. Okay, so normally I have somebody in the kitchen with me, which makes this a lot more interesting, but you're stuck with me today, so just deal with it. Um, I'm gonna go over the ingredients with you. I am gonna give you the recipe for a homemade pie crust, but like I said, Bobby Flay, look away. I am gonna use Pillsbury. <laughs> I am making, I'm not gonna make a pie crust from scratch. Um, the ingredients that we've got today, what's going into the pot pie. We're gonna start by sauteing uh, one medium to large diced onion. Then we're gonna add in um, a couple of large carrots diced up. I'm chopping up some celery right now and we're gonna get that going. And then we're gonna put in about two to three cloves of garlic. Okay, so let me start with the onion. We're gonna, the recipe calls for a total of four tablespoons of butter. We're gonna start with three to uh, get the onion, carrot, and uh, celery going. So, I never was a pot pie fan. I just kind of was like, it's like soup in a crust. What, like why? However, um, I found a recipe that was super delicious and I'm gonna give you a little secret ingredient that I love to just, it just jazzes up almost any dish. But this recipe is, has been a favorite with friends. My husband loves it. It's just, it's easy. The, the nice thing about it is you really want to make the filling about um, a day ahead. Okay, so I've got the onion going. I've turned the heat down a little bit because I don't want the onions to burn. We're gonna let the onion soften up and then I'll add in the carrots and celery. In the meantime, you wanna preheat your oven. If you're gonna make it that night, preheat your oven to 425. It's better if you refrigerate the filling overnight. Why? It makes it a little bit thicker inside the crust and for some reason it also makes the crust flakier when you put a cold filling in it versus a warm filling. So just a little tip there. Let's talk about what else is gonna go in your filling. We're gonna put the diced celery and carrots in. We're gonna let that soften up for a few more minutes. Then we put the garlic in and the diced garlic, we've got it all chopped up and ready to go. That's about two to three cloves of garlic. The next thing we're gonna do after all that has sat for a little bit, we're going to sprinkle about a quarter cup of dried flour over the whole thing and add that extra butter that we reserved, that other tablespoon of butter. We're gonna get that going and really mix the flour up so we take out that taste of flour. And then we've got our two cups of milk. The recipe calls for whole milk. I use 2% or whatever I have in the fridge if you wanna lighten it up. It'll still come thick enough and you can save on a few calories. If you're really worried about calories, don't eat pot pie. So, the chicken. Sorry, Ina, this is not fresh chicken that I made. This was rotisserie chicken that, was, that I shredded up. You, some supermarkets actually have shredded rotisserie chicken, which makes, saves you one big step. This is about two and a half cups. I like to use a little bit more chicken because I like my filling to really fill the crust. So this is about two and a half, almost three cups of chicken. We're gonna add this in. Now, if it's getting too thick, we can extend it with a little chicken broth. Just a little bit. Don't wanna do too much. You wanna kinda just enough to, there we go. So we've got our chicken broth in there and we're gonna add about three quarter cups of peas and I like to do about three quarter cups of corn as well. Now, you ready for the secret ingredient? Better than bouillon. I love me some better than bouillon. 
I love it better when I can open the jar. Okay. Okay, so apparently my team has some questions. So who taught me to cook? Um, that would be my mother. Hi, Lucia. By cautiously staying out of her way while she was cooking in the kitchen, she's one of the most amazing cooks and role models. So she's, the, she's how I learned to cook, again, by cautiously watching. What does Mike Shea like to cook himself? He, okay, fried Spam. Yes, fried Spam. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so we're gonna finish this up. We're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of thyme, chopped up. And this is another favorite ingredient of mine, is chopped fresh Italian parsley. It just, at the end of a dish, it just adds this really fresh taste to it. And we're gonna turn this off and let this cool down. And we're gonna work on our crust. I have already prepared the bottom of the, the pot pie. We're gonna roll out the top part. A little bit of flour on the board. Look away, Bobby Flay. Pie crust courtesy of Pillsbury. Mm -hmm. And your top crust should be a little smaller than your bottom crust. Pretty good. This is still pretty hot. We're gonna go for it anyway. All right, look at that. Okay, so again, this is way too hot. Guys, do not try this at home. You wanna let this cool down. Ideally, you want to refrigerate it overnight, like I was saying earlier. Then we're gonna get our, our crust that goes on top. You want to pinch the edges. So if you can see what I'm doing, I'm just pinching the outside edge. And if you have excess, you know, just break it off. You want to cut, you know, kind of a slit in the center. And there she is. Now, I usually put it on a rimmed pan because it makes it easier to take it in and out of the oven. And your end result looks like that. Isn't she beautiful? I'm so hungry right now. So, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy my chicken pot pie. And please like, subscribe, or comment down below if you enjoyed this video. Bye for now. If you're wondering, no, we didn't used to have chicken pot pie when I was a kid. Well, what is it that's a chicken pot pie? That's what she would say. <laughs>